Hello children, recall last video where an impatient Dan took my gravid turtle bean, gravid meaning that she had eggs, and I took her outside on a walk all around to go hopefully lay them. But you see, I was impatient. I felt that she had the eggs and so I figured, you know, once she started trying to come up onto land that I could just take her outside, take her for a walk, and she would just start digging and, and plop the eggs somewhere. I was wrong. So for the past two years, she's been able to lay the eggs entirely on her own. So I said, you know what? Screw it. She knows what she's doing. She doesn't need any intervention from me. About two days after that video, she came up on land for three hours. She was pacing around the enclosure. And sure enough, the next day she was doing the same thing and boom, two o'clock, we can see she was looking around. She does the little front digs. They put their nose in the sand in order to test the humidity and whatnot. And she turned around and started digging. So yeah, that was just like, it was really nice. I was just like, oh, I like, let me just let her do her thing because she clearly knows what she's doing. She's laid eggs the past two years all on her own. Why does she need any intervention from me? All right, after that whole fiasco, there she is. She looks a little out of it, of course. Let's go ahead and give her some supplemental calcium first. I'm also gonna palpate and feel her and I will know right away whether she dropped them or not. Do you see how sluggish she is? This girl's tired. She is freaking exhausted. Holy nuts. All right, let me pick you up and see. And she, oh my God, she's light as a friggin' feather, guys. Literally, the difference is night and day. Here you go, beautiful. And I'm gonna give her some nice food now. Oh, poor baby, she's so exhausted. Let's get her some snacks. Dump a nice hearty portion. And where is she? All right, go for it. There she goes. See, she's very hungry. I'm gonna toss her even more food. Let her just take down as much food as she needs to eat. Replenish all those nutrients that she just lost. All of those calories that she just burnt. Guys, she's been pacing literally since 11 o'clock this morning. It's 2.30 and she just finished up nesting. So she's definitely tired. Just gonna make sure she's well fed, well taken care of. And Miss Flipper right there, well, she's next. Whenever the time is right, she'll come up and hopefully do the same exact thing. And if we're really lucky, Dragon Fruit will do the same thing as well. And the coolest part, guys, is that as we come over here, you couldn't tell that she did a freaking thing. Like, realistically, you would not be able to tell where she dug. That was a test nest earlier, and there are eggs sitting right in there. Hello, welcome to my workshop. Welcome to my workbench. It's 90 degrees out, so no shirt today. Here's my lid that I used last year for last year's babies. I'm gonna call it this lucky container, so I'm gonna use it again. to get our vermiculite. This stuff gets freaking everywhere. We wanna do a ratio of roughly two to one. Vermiculite to water. Oh, this is gonna get everywhere. Stop pouring. So now we have to add water to this so that way it's moist, not wet not damp. And normally, like I said, two to one, I do have a scale. I should have weighed this beforehand. I'm just gonna wing it. All right, guys, so right now we're gonna go dig up the eggs now that I have this uh, container of vermiculite ready. Comment down below how many eggs you think that Bean had. I'll give you a hint, it's gonna be over five. My guess is six. She had six two years ago. I'm gonna assume that there's six this time. Comment down below right now, what's your guess? We're gonna find out in just a couple minutes who's right. Yes, yes, eggies, eggies. I have no time to waste. Okay, should be right in here somewhere. So let's go for this. That sounds great. And then of course, when I went to go grab the eggs, it started pouring raining, so I had to wait a couple hours, but then eventually we got them. All right, folks, so I super gently excavated. It felt like there was a hole down here, so I started digging, and then in reality, I was digging over here earlier. I was digging here, and a little piece punched out to the left. Those are the eggs. So now we're gonna just really gently come in here. Wow, she packed this in extraordinarily tight. So we're gonna really gently just use two fingers here, and we are going to retrieve some of these eggs. Oh, I feel like a paleontologist. Check it out, guys. Friggin' eight. Let's go get them in the incubator. So then I just kind of pop them in the incubator, and then we wait. But when it rains, it pours. You see, Flipper, she's one of my other uh, terrapins that I have, adult females. She was also gravid with eggs. And so as soon as I left on a quick little vacation, she was pacing the enclosures. Last year, Flipper would not lay the eggs on her own for whatever reason. Her first clutch of eggs, she needed oxytocin. Oxytocin is basically the chemical, the hormone that induces labor. And so she wouldn't lay them anywhere. I tried taking her for a walk 
walk. I tried all this other stuff. She just wouldn't drop them. So I had to take her to the vet and make sure that she did that. That video is going to be right over here, I want to say. So three days of her pacing every day. Thankfully, I got home on time, picked her up, took her out into the front yard to go search some spots. And after three or so test nests, we tried walking in the grass. She didn't like that. We tried over in the woods. There was too many roots for her to properly dig. And then in the mulch bed in my front yard, I took her. She she sticks her nose down, starts digging and whatnot. And sure enough, she dug herself a full friggin' nest. I dug up the eggs and one at the bottom was cracked, which happens sometimes when they lay them, they pack the dirt down too tightly. So I dug up six, pulled them out. The seventh was busted. As I was bringing all the dirt back together to refill in that spot, I accidentally grabbed the container of eggs and my nail went right through one of them. So that's why this video is not out Monday because I spent two days in a little depressive pit because I felt like I killed it, which I did. But there's no sense in moping. There's only learning, sharing with you guys so you can learn and moving on. Stupid me kind of forgot that they were there as I was moving all the dirt back and accidentally grabbed them. Regardless, we got five good eggs from Miss Flipper. We got eight eggs from freaking Bean. So we have 13 eggs in the incubator. Plus I got a surprise clutch from one of the ornate females that I have in quarantine. So there's seven of those. So I've got 20 babies cooking. And for those of you who are wondering what I'm gonna do with all 20 of them, they will be available on my Patreon. If you hit the link right up over here where you also get behind the scenes access to all the stuff that I'm doing, those people know already about these eggs and when they hatch out and when they're eating and well started, they will be available. Yeah, so that's it, exciting stuff. See you later.